All right, guys, I'm going to show you a setup that I prepared for Ganium. And what we're going to do is an exercise of understanding how can we improve VOD from 0 0.04 running on Solana on the 15 minute time frame. And we're going to do some increments until we get to 0 0.11, 0 0.14 per day. We're going to do some mistakes. You know, we're going to try some errors. This is the step five, 0 0.17. Uh, step six, we increase it to 0 0.36. And then we do some mistakes here. We go back to 0 0.01. We revert. We get to 0 0.17 in here. And on the step nine, we're going to get to 0 0.43. Okay. And the intention of this is to inspire you to grab these ideas and to evolve them into something better. It's not to copy them because I'm telling you this can still be improved and it should be improved before running. So what I'm going to do is start with the step number one and show you the, the basic idea uh, just running on Solana. Okay, so let's go. Let's slow the details of idea number one. Uh, before I show you the actual settings of the bot, let's have a very quick look uh, at this idea, how we are starting, because it's already very good. Okay, 0, 0, 004, don't underestimate this. You can see that Solana, for example, if you started from here on the 24th of November in 2022, and we were running the, this bot, we will have outperformed the performance of Solana just by having 0 0.04 every day sustained in average. Uh, for example, if I hide the Biden hold, you're going to see that we start here from the 29th, uh, 25th of November, and we end up today on the 20th of July in 2024. So it's uh, four years or, or something like that. Uh, so let's see now the settings. The settings is just running with Solana. It's running with no leverage. Uh, this is an example of using uh, only um, spot. And what we're going to use here is compounding. You can see that I started initially with a very small amount of cash uh, relative to the size of the account. We, this is a percentage of the full account for the base order and going here this area you're gonna see the deal start the deal starts with guess what rsi with pnr uh, crossing up the percentile 10 and we are allowing three max deals uh, all of those things we're going to improve them later um and also it's not allowing uh, this actual three deals because it's just one deal per pair I took this bot from something else, so I started from something that actually really doesn't work that much. I still had the cooldowns in the beginning. Then I went to take profit, and we have again the start of the show, RSI plus PNR, but in this case, crossing up 90. You can see here in the chart what it's doing. Then I went with a DCA mode with a safety orders. This is very similar to the crease bot. If you're familiar uh, with those bots that I've been preaching for quite a long time and the DCA order amount, I think is double what we saw at the top and safety orders are spread away using ATR with a length of 30 on the daily with a factor of 0 0.25. Since it's eight safety orders, eight safety orders multiplied by 0 0.25, it's going to give us two ATR in total for this deviation. So two times the daily ATR based on the volatility of the past 30 days. And that is giving us a cost of $2,000 to run the bot. The deviation right now is 11% on Solana. Uh, but that will fluctuate depending on how much volatility Solana is seen at different times. So if it pumps, this might become 20 or 30% deviation if it, or if it dumps as well. Uh, it's all based on, on, on the movement. So there's a lot in the account and there's a required total of 7,000. And when we look at the backtests, we are going to see 
uh, backtests that are based on the total amount used by the bot, not by the total amount uh, available in the account, I believe. So let's see the results. This is in real time. You see the, that's the backtest and we see the drawdown is 4%. Here is the, one of the worst deals with 12, 13% in a single deal. And I think this 4% is less because we still had three deals at the same time, even though in practice they cannot be executed because they have a max open deals per pair of one. So that is constricting these three, so it's still one. Uh, so I think this uh, the, the performance should be three times this. It should be like a zero. 12, I think, um, in practice. It's just that I started with a template from another bot and I wanted to improve uh, from the very basics. Let's go back to the history of all my backtests and let's scroll down to backtest number two. Here we're going to get three times the better performance. Let's load these details. We get 0 0.12, 0 0.11, sorry, and... We got some losers here for 13%, so still kind of the same losses, but we are now doing much better. You can see how much higher we are getting from the buy and hold just by getting a 0 0.11. So what changed here? In practice, I think I only changed the entry. So I split the RSI of uh, crossing up 10 on the PNR. I flip it to Williams R. So this is something that probably Donnie is going to find interesting because I mentioned that this works. I hope uh, you can, you know, make it work one day. And the take profit is also Williams R. Similar thing. It, I just flip the indicator. Everything is default. The loopback is 150. And then on DCA mode, we have the same safety orders, same sizes and same factor of this so still two times atr for the distribution of everything the same amount invested so only by changing from rsi to williams r we're almost tripling the returns with this particular setup so that is already a great progress and we are just in the number in the number two and uh, now let's go with number three let's see what change in number three And I think on number three, I made some changes. Uh, let, let's go through it. So first of all, from 0 0.11, now we are at 0 0.14. We are far away from the buy and hold. And you can see that even running it through the bear market, this thing is beautiful, you know, to run it all this bear market, even though there are depressions and you, some days you're going to get a minus 20% or a minus 17%. So careful if you're putting too much leverage on this. More than a, f a 5x liquidates this account easily. So make sure that there's enough collateral uh, always, but I'm going to leave that discussion aside and focus on what changed on number three. Solana strategy, everything is the same, same size, nothing changed there. Uh, in entry conditions is the same, but I, I think I reduced here finally the max open deals and I removed the cooldown. I found that it didn't really help on this particular coin. Uh, I typically use a cooldown when I'm trading multiple coins using bot assistant per selection. If I'm, if I'm only uh, doing a single coin, uh, then I might consider not to use it. Uh, just because the cooldown, I use it to prevent that when there is a dump in the market, I get multiple positions from different coins opening at the same time which sometimes is the worst time. So you better wait four hours for the next deal and then dodge some of that bloodbath coming in the market. So take profit. Let's go back down. Uh, same thing. You're going to recognize this. There's no stop loss. There hasn't been in any of the previous setup either. DCA mod is eight, the same size. And here we are starting to get more aggressive with the spread of the safety orders. You, if you notice before, it was 0 0.25 multiplied by eight safety orders. That was giving us a spread max deviation of two ATR. With this, we're getting just one ATR, okay? And with one ATR, what we are noticing is that the losses, we saw losses of 20. In the previous setup, there were losses of 12. So as you 
make things uh, more constricted, you can expect bigger losses as well. So careful with this. Cool. So that is setup number three. We got an additional 0 0.03 on top of it. Let's go with the, sub, the setup number four. And, and I think I'm going to show you the ones that reduce the performance so we can see what, what went wrong. Uh, so from the top number four, what is it doing? Is Williams R, everything the same, take profit is the same, and DCA mode size is the same, but we went back to 0 0.25. I think I was just testing. So let's skip this and let's go with number five. Number five, exciting. This should give us 0 0.17. And look how far is the performance now of Solana with 0.17. It's beautiful. Um, let's go here. Uh, we get same size, same entry, same take profit, I believe. DCA mode 8, same size of the safety order. And now we are pushing it harder. So we get to 0 0.06. This is less than 180R in the distribution. In here, we are getting a distribution of half ATR, right? So you can see that now our safety orders are barely going below 3%. Uh, and at some points it might be less, and at some point it might be more, depending on the daily volatility. But that's all that we have as a cushion in this bot. And it's incredible to see that is performing in the back test. Uh, that was pushing it hard and let's let's remember from the history this is number five let's go to the history here and just as a reminder this increased to 0 017 so it's the first time we get so far now we're going to push it to 0 036 so exciting because this is more than double uh, the performance of five what changed really in this one uh, let's load the details and look, we are getting extremely far from the performance of the buy and hold. And that's beautiful. Um, this is purely because I made some changes on the sizes uh, because I wanted to use 96% of the total amount in the account. So this will be like running it 1x with the full account. Mm, yeah. Uh, so let's go from the top and confirm that. So 5% around 5% of the base order, same entry, yes, uh, no cooldown, yeah, one deal at the same time, indicators is crossing up 90, again here, DCA mode, uh, eight safety orders, ATR 0 0.06, so this is the same as before, just that the sizes were uh, changed. So let's go now with number seven, and we're getting very close to the best uh, of today. Um, all these tests, I did it in 10 minutes, okay? So don't expect to double the final performance in, all, in another 10 minutes. Expect to, you know, spend some time exploring uh, what can be improved. And feel free on Discord to share your findings, to uh, to ask me if you're, what you're finding is valid, because sometimes, you know, we see something extremely good and it's not as good in reality. So uh, here we can see that I added the super trend. So I wanted to do some trend filtering to remove the losses from the previous one because the previous one, yes, it makes uh, very good returns. I think it was 0 0.36, if I remember right. But the problem is that it's got some good, decent drawdown as well. So what's going on with this one? I'm using the weekly... Uh, default settings of super trend to run only when there is an uptrend on the weekly unfortunately this destroys fully the strategy very rarely we see a sustained weekly uptrend on solana interestingly i will have expected that there is a lot more action on the weekly but well whatever it doesn't work so let's just skip this which was the number seven and let's go with number eight and number eight, um, it should give us back the 0 017. And in this one, I was exploring whether the filtering by trend here, it will help on the daily as well. It's not helping. You see that we are back into 0 017 and the 
previous one was already 036 without filtering trend. So that's telling us, you know, filtering trend is not really helping. It might help in other sense. Like for example, you might see smaller losses, like the largest loss here is nine. We saw some 20%, meaning that it's forbidden to go pretty much about 3x or 2x. It, it With 5x, it liquidates the account, right? It's five times 20% loss is 100%. In this case, it's 9%. So, you know, we can do a, a 10x liquidate the account. So we need to stay below that. That That's kind of the logic. And that is one day super trend. And, and this was the setup number eight. Now let's go with the number nine. That That is the best I was able to find in a few minutes. And I know that it can be improved, guys. This can be improved. Um, you can add more indicators. Um, let's discuss that on Discord. I'm going to leave it as a, as a homework. I mean, explore yourself some things as well. So this is Williams R, um, the same super trend, and I change it to four hour, and that's it. You know, four hour time frame on Solana. Uh, the same things with Williams, Williams R, uh, take profit, yeah, the same. And this one is running with the 006. So 05 ATR distribution for safety orders in here, uh, same entry and exit, but filtering by the four hour running on Solana. Now, take this bot, try it with other coins, try it with different uh, filtering of the trend and assume that not many coins are gonna perform the same way as Solana. So take it for a ride with your preferred coins and backtest, you know, many years. Notice that all my backtests in here are four years, almost 1500 days in a row in the 15 minute chart using the, the fees that I can get from Binance. Of course, check, double check that you get these fees. If you don't, you know, look for some of the uh, referral links that have discounts I have for Binance, Bybit, get a Palau card uh, to be able to trade these things properly. Do not use Qcoin or any of these Coinbase or exchanges that charge a lot and don't offer necessarily a great service for bot trading. You know, it's painful and it takes a while, but it's worth, you know, once you check all the boxes. All right, so that is the, the, the setup and I'm gonna leave uh, in the video, in the YouTube video, if you go to the, the description, uh, or maybe in the article, I'm going to leave the links to each of the individual backtests. So you can take from one to nine, explore what was done in detail uh, and see how it works. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. I'm not going to edit this video. This is just, you know, for you for the weekend to spend some time exploring. See you on the next one. Bye bye.